two dogs and three dogs. And you know what dogs do, so let's do it. <laughs> Fluxus began as new music. Um, the name Fluxus uh, got attached to this whole business, this movement, uh, at a festival in Wiesbaden in 1962, which was advertised as a festival series of concerts about the newest of new music. We were a group of people in Japan, all over Europe and in North America that between 58 and 62 worked with a new understanding of art later called intermedia. And this is an understanding of art that art is not connected to special manners of production but deals with communication. This means art is not only paintings, dance, theater, etc but art could in any form and any shape and take place anywhere in the world. Just a matter of communication and not production. Then we all met in Wiesbaden in 62 and for the first time this kind of art was called Fluxus. We didn't know it was called Fluxus, we just thought we were doing intermedia. But that caught on the press and the press started to call us Fluxus and that has kept on ever since. The Fluxus artists, that was the international network, you can speak of them as the first internet without the computer. That Fluxus group will of course die when all of us are dead. But what will remain and what will have a tremendous influence, it already had a tremendous influence, but will continue to have a tremendous influence is the understanding of art, the intermediate. For part of this festival in Wiesbaden, I created a survey which is on the web, which you can find an answer, and it's called, the title is, Did Fluxus Change the World? And uh, the answers so far have been primarily positive. There's a place where you can add your own comments. But one thing I thought about is that uh, when this all began in 1962, there was no word for performance art. There was no idea of events that didn't exist. Uh, this was brand new territory, and we even called it action music or something like that because there was no idea for performance. Now, 50 years later, every art school that thinks anything of itself around the world, in France, Germany, Italy, US, uh, wherever, India even, they have a department of performance art with at least one or two professors. Really, in these 50 years from the first Fluxus manifestation and on until today, our conception of art has changed entirely. The way we see art today is entirely different from the way we saw art 50 years ago. And this development will continue, of course. And if you look at young people doing art today, it's entirely different from what they did 10 years ago. And in the next 10 years, it will develop further, of course. So anything that you see a performance art now, basically comes from that period, 1958-62. This is, uh, this exhibition documents that history. Uh, you can see uh, how it became what it is today. Yes.